Hey, I'm Julie. Welcome to the Fun Affiliate Family. And you have heard all about the hardcover books that are available now through KDP with Amazon, but you haven't made one yet because you weren't quite sure what the size should be or you're maybe a little intimidated like I was um, about creating one. Book Bolt to the rescue has made it so much easier. Check out my video on how you can create hardcovers in Book Bolt. Let's get started. All right, here it is, so exciting. It's the hardcover version of the cover designer for Book Bolt. You can still do paperback, obviously, but we're gonna check out this hardcover part. If you haven't seen me do a paperback, just check these previous videos I have with Book Bolt, and I'll do paperback covers, and you can check that out. But here's hardcover. It's probably gonna be close to the same. I haven't done it before, so here we go, first time out. I'm gonna do a seven by 10. I've already done a six by nine in the past. Had to create it all by myself. It wasn't super easy, but I did it. Um, we're gonna just do our regular black and white because we're just gonna do a journal. And my normal size for this has been 100. So we're gonna keep that the same and let's see what happens with the hardcover. All right, it's generating our template. That can take a couple of minutes, it says, but usually it's not that long, it's just a few seconds. So um, I do have videos on uploading to KDP, which can be tricky sometimes if you've never done it before. So be sure to check those out on my YouTube. I will put links to all the videos I have um, related to creating journals and books to sell online. Don't forget, you can also create your own book. You can create your own novel or children's book. And you can do that paperback or hardcover. Now hardcover will cost more when you go to upload to KDP and people purchase. You're gonna have to charge more for the book because it's gonna cost you more to purchase, to actually, print the book and for Amazon to do that. So that's not something you wanna deal with, then just stick with paperback. But I did create a recipe book. I got it for myself and it was around $11. Um, so it's not very cheap and I didn't make very much on that one compared to others. So here it is, our hardback cover. As you can tell, the spine is a little bigger because a hardback spine is gonna be a little bit wider, which is exciting because you can put some words there. So I may do that as well. Um, this will be your front cover. This will be your back cover. Don't forget down here, they're going to put a little barcode. You're going to make sure all your text is between these two areas of peach here for the back and for the front. And pretty much everything else is probably going to be the same. So let's get started designing. I'm not really sure what I want this one to be yet. So let's just kind of go over here to images. And I'm going to go up in the resources. And I'm just going to start searching. I like to do flowers. Obviously, I have done flowers a bunch. Let's just see. It's probably going to be the same old stuff that I've seen in the past with flowers. And you're going to have to remember to keep whatever you're going to put on the right and left side. Oh, this one's pretty. I haven't done this one before. So let's just see how this is going to look. You're going to need to center it up here at the top and pull it all the way in so that you get, you see how it goes over the edge you're going to want to make sure everything goes over the edges now that's pretty big but because of the size so i can make it a little smaller and get more of the color in there i don't really have to go out that much but you see this isn't going to work right here because you see too much peach at the top so i'm going to have to make it a little bit bigger because of the size book i'm doing a seven by ten and then you can just adjust it wherever you want that is very pretty i'm going to get it where i get right there so i get more of the pink all right, you're going to want to make sure everything is within these edges, and it appears to be. All right, so we have our beautiful picture here. Now we're going to add a little text. So you're just going to click up here on text and then click here on whichever font you like. I have videos that talk a little bit more about the different fonts and because you might want to change them around also. So there's it. You know, that's obviously the font name. So I'm going to change it. Just going to highlight that delete and write the word notes now we're obviously going to need a different color for that so to get your colors you're going to click on that your words click on the fill options i'm going to try the white and see what happens see if i like that notes might bring it down just a little bit into the green trees there and it's pretty simple but for our purposes today of just showing you how this works. You can see it pretty much works the same as paperback. That's all we're gonna do today. That's it, that's our cover. Oh, let's do a little spine text. I haven't done that. 
Um, so I'm just going to click here and we're going to see how this works. Um, let's do some spine text. You can't even see it. It's so because it is a different color. Obviously, it's the default color. Color. So you're going to make sure you highlight it. And then I'm going to make this white also. All right. So it does show notes. Um, I don't. I just clicked that. I'm going to change the font up. Um, I didn't mean to have that font. So I'm just going to delete that one and start over with this pretty scrolly color um, font. I'm just going to go back and do notes again. And I'm going to make sure that I highlight it and change it to white as well. Now, this will show you how you can, um, you're going to want to put this this way. And then you're going to need to make it looks like maybe even a little smaller for it to fit in there. So I don't know if we want to really do this or not on a spine. You can certainly try it. I'm not going to do it today because maybe a bigger book, it would be better, but that's really tight right there. So I'm just going to close that. But if you want to do a spine text, that's how you do it. You're just going to have to make sure it's between those two dotted lines right here. So it's going to be really small. Probably won't be able to read it in a 100 page book. All right, then you go back up here, download is, you know, what you're going to always do, and it's going to take a minute. You will download it, save it however you need to save it so that you can find it. I'm big on that because you don't know how many times they can get lost. Um, save it with the size of the book, 7 by 10 notes. You may want to say something like the pretty, pretty flowers notes, 7 by 10 cover or something like that. And that's all you have to do. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. All right, it is ready to download and now you're just gonna click download. Super easy, make sure, like I said before, you share, save it however you can find it. All right guys, it's that simple. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more information on how you can make money online, lots of different ways, and we're exploring them and letting you know what we're doing, what we're thinking and all that. Be sure to check this video description for all the other videos I've made on affiliate marketing or creating journals and books and uploading to KDP and using Canva or using BookBold. So many options out there and we're just getting started. So make sure you subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have questions and you can also find me on TikTok at No Filter Juju and of course Fun Affiliate Family and on Facebook and Instagram Fun Affiliate Family. We even have a Facebook group if you want to get really into it and learn a lot more about making money online. I'll put a link to our group also in this video description. So go out, have fun making your hardcover books, and I'll see you next time.